What's going on? I had to make sure the camera was all right. My bad. What's going on, guys? It's another outside stream where I'm just kicking in. I was working out. Figured why not come out here and just talk about something real quick. And it's something that's been on my mind, man. Especially due to the fact that, you know, I like to try to engage with the audience. Sometimes I like to troll the audience, right? Especially uh, the ones that's just on the bandwagon. But there's like this hate for Ryan Upchurch that's getting so out of hand, bro. It's crazy. It is crazy. Yo, why y'all dislike this man so much? That don't make no damn sense, right? And because I'm someone who is... I guess you could define as polarizing, right? All right, gotta make sure I get used to holding this damn phone. <laughs> Do more videos. I'm polarizing, so I know how it feels when people just hate you out of nowhere. And usually for me, it's because I'm telling the truth and society doesn't want you to be a truth teller out here. So they'll do whatever to try to silence you and try to like cut you off right and try to make it seem like you're crazy so now when i'm seeing all these people try to like pretty much cancel ryan up church just because he has a a difference in opinion just because he has a different opinion now you want to destroy him right it's, it's out of hand bro it's, it's getting so bad to where if i do a video that's not about up church people will go out their way to just use that as an excuse to try to bash him Right? And whenever I see things like that because of how I am and how I'm polarizing, and every time I tell the truth and I'm honest, no one want to hear it. Instead of, instead of, or not instead, except for my supporters. Obviously, Fang Gang, shout out to y'all. And I'm noticing Ryan Up Church and the Creek Squad is just as real. Because now people are trying to silence him. Why? He's done a few videos calling out the true crime community or the wannabe true crime community. Right, these guys that act like they detect this, they not detecting nothing. They don't detect not a damn thing. These people suck, right? They're frauds. If you look deep enough, they got a lot of creepy stuff and nasty stuff within their background too. Just like a lot of these people that they try to talk about. It's a lot of disgusting stuff going on over there, right? I agree. I've exposed a lot of the true crime community. I've spoken to them. I've debated them. I've made them look stupid. I've had them trying to get me down with the team. I had people that were the uh, the crime case try to get me involved on some. They want me to be their advisors. And I'm like, no. I'm just a regular person. I give my opinion and that's it. Why can't people leave it at that? Right? So now when Upchurch is giving his opinion, now he's like evil. That's not right to you. Think about it. This whole community, there's a bunch of bozos out here just saying a bunch of just nothing, right? But then you could chalk it up to their opinions, um, and that's me being nice. It's, it's a lot of speculation, right, to a degree where they act like they 100% know, right? With Upchurch, when he speaks on certain things, fam, he's letting you know that, yo, this is just my brain. I'm just brainstorming, right? And then it makes you, you know, question things and start to open up your eyes, right? And now when someone's doing that and having open discussions, now you want to shut him down. So much so that now when you just want to start going into videos that's not even about him, just to use that as an opportunity to try to shut this man down. All the nasty things that he has to deal with. And to be clear, from what I can see, he's not worried, right? I don't want this to, he's not jelly rolling, okay? He ain't crying out here on social media or trying to quit social media. Right? I speak about things like this because this is my hobby. I love hip hop. I love music. I like roasting, cracking jokes, and just talking. Right? So that's what I do. But what I'm noticing now, right? And just to be clear, he's not complaining, right? Because he got his supporter base, the people that rock with him genuinely. I'm noticing just a lot of hate and it's getting outrageous, bro. It's starting to get so ridiculous, right? People are trying to do nasty things like send personal attacks. With his family well we already know the youtuber that was doing that frog tv he was out here being disgusting and being nasty out here spreading misinformation and just going and attacking his family on a personal level we already know people who was doing that right we already are well aware but then you got fans that have just kept this going and mind you yes he's throwing shade or shots at tom mcdonald of course Right, and that's just hip hop, man. It's not that damn serious. It's hip hop. Right, let them rap, let them beef. 
right? If, if, if Tommy Don doesn't want to address it, which I think is soft, and it is what it is, and if Upchurch wants to address it, it's not that damn serious, bro, for people to be sending that amount of hate. So it's like, I'm seeing from the true crime or fake wannabe true crime community, them throw shots and try to go after Upchurch. And then I'm seeing, as well as people within the hip hop or wannabe hip hop community, them going to Upchurch because he's doing what hip hop is about, fam. This is competition, it's a sport. I'm one of the, the biggest, biggest people out here speaking, uh, I'm not saying myself biggest. I'm a huge person, but I'm saying as more as uh, I'm one of the biggest promoters of treating hip hop as a sport and not taking it to a serious note. I don't think it should be to where you beef in the streets. I think if you have a problem with a man, as a man, you should approach it like that and such. But it should never get crazy to where you actually are trying to see each other on some Adam Calhoun, Jelly Roll, Struggle Jennings type of flow. Right, so we have someone who is about that hip hop life talking on Ryan Upchurch, who's coming out here and doing hip hop things that, that reminds me of the KRS ones out here, just calling people out. And then you got people all in a frenzy going crazy and trying to destroy him or attack anyone who is even a fan of him. Once again, guys, I say this all the time if something happens with Ryan Upchurch that I see him as doing something nasty or that I want to call out. I would call it out. I've disagreed with Ryan Upchurch on certain statements or things a plethora of times. If you ever watched any of my content, you would know, man. Like, even if it's something small, like, uh, well, I disagree with this statement, or, eh, I don't think that was right. I do it. But I don't see him grifting. How you gonna get mad because I'm not calling out somebody for grifting when he's not grifting? Come on, bro. This dude is putting out just good music that's authentic. He's out here supporting up and coming artists, people within media. He's doing his thing. Fam, come on. And it looked like looked like he mixtape ready. Look like he mixtape ready too. So I'm hype. I'm hype, fam. Within the last few years, I have become a huge Ryan Upchurch fan. And not only for his amazing music talents and ability, but just who he is as a person is so authentic to what he is saying within his music. Right? And when I see that, I'm going to give it credit. And then if I see something nasty or that I disagree with, I'm going to call it out. It just is what it is. I think that people just take certain things too seriously, man. Only people I'm beefing with is the system. For real. Not actually like, uh, what's his name? Tom McDonald out here saying it. But no, for real. I'm anti-government, for real. That's something that I probably should do another video speaking on. I don't really want to get political on here, right? Because that's part of why I don't give a damn about the government, per se, uh, as far as trying to push them in whatever agenda they want. I care about more of the people and just freedom of individuals to do whatever they feel. Don't tread on me. But tell me what you think down in the comment section. Hit the like button. Appreciate you guys. See ya.